Here is a second example of using the transformation technique on two continuous random variables. This one leads to a very famous distribution. Here's how it goes. Let x1 be normal with mean 0 and variance 1, that is standard normal, and x2 be a chi-squared random variable with k degrees of freedom. Furthermore, assume that they are independent and we want the distribution of x1 divided by the square root of the ratio of the chi-squared random variable to its degrees of freedom. Now in this particular case you can draw a picture here. Here is the x1 axis and here is the x2 axis and it turns out that script A because the normal distribution has a support that goes from minus infinity to infinity and the chi-square distribution has a support that goes from zero to infinity script A is everything above the x1 axis. When you check out script B now that's y1 and y2 if you assume a dummy transformation of x2 then it turns out that every single point or actually every single horizontal line in the x1 2 plane will map to a horizontal line in the y1 y2 plane and script B as it turns out will be this very same region that is everything above the y1 axis. So once you have established that you also establish that this is a one-to-one -one transformation and the joint PDF of x1 and x2 will be the normal 0 1 portion right here and the chi-squared k portion right here. They multiply of course because they are independent random variable variables and then I have after lots of work. Well that lots of work will include everything from finding Jacobians to finding marginal distributions and all that type of thing but by the transformation technique you get this dreadful looking PDF here for the distribution of y1 which is this ratio of a standard normal to a chi-squared over its degrees of freedom in the radical underneath the uh, the uh, uh, denominator there but in any case this is a famous distribution and it is known as the T distribution with k degrees of freedom and you'll see much more of the uh, t distribution going forward because it is used quite often in statistics.